Hi everybody, this is Gotham from Cadence Design Systems. I'm the Product Marketing Director for PCIe IP. Uh, we're here at uh, DevCon, and we have uh, almost eight demonstrations for you here today. We're also demonstrating uh, various aspects of our PCIe Gen 6 subsystem IP, which has eight lanes of PHY and controller, uh, all running at, at the same time at uh, you know 64 gigabits per second. Hi everyone, this is Mark Loinas. I'm an R&D Vice President in the Cadence Silicon Solutions Group, and I'm here today at uh, DevCon uh, in Santa Clara, and we're, we're demo demonstrating our PCIe uh, Gen 6 solution. Um, so we, we have a subsystem here um, where we have a PHY and a controller integrated onto the test chip. So we have eight lanes of PHY and eight lanes of controller, um, and our strategy has been to build the entire subsystem uh, on, on the test chip um, so we can de-risk that for our customers. Um, PCI in PCIe, um, the, the, the interactions between the PHY and the controller are very tight, and so you, you, you really have to prove both together in order to build a solution that's credible. And, and so what we have here, um, yeah, not, so our PHY is, is you know, obviously meeting all of the electrical specifications for PCIe Gen 6, but so we're not, so we're, what we're concentrating on here is the functionality and showing that we link up end-to-end um, -end, um, with a link partner. So one, one of these test chips is acting as the endpoint, and the one with the identical board here, you're just looking at the back, um, is, is, is another test chip that's acting as the root port. And so they've linked up and they're passing traffic between them. And um, you can see here uh, on the right the, the plot of the eye, the, the, receive, the receiver eye seen by one of the test chips. And you can see that it's a, it's a clean PAM4 eye that's open and that if you read very closely you can see the bit error rate is, 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 is low and, 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 and meeting all the PCIe specs. Okay, next you're going to hear from Anish Matthew, who's the, uh, the architect for our PCIe and CXL controllers, about that technology and uh, the special features that we have. So this is our test chip, and this has a controller and the PHY inside. So this controller has full LTSSM support, which is capable of supporting maximum by edge bandwidth, and uh, this also has the full LTSSM, full uh, shared flow control, and uh, it is also delivering, uh, the, uh, delivering packets to the Axie interface. And this also support uh, CXL, .mem, and .cache. And uh, another instance of the controller, you know, the, the same IP can be configured as an endpoint on the root port. So here you can see the, uh, the root port IP talking to the endpoint. First it uh, does the link training, then it initializes the flow control. Then you'll see that you know, traffic going on from root port and endpoint. So this has controller and the fight together. So this is the same package that we deliver to our IP customers. So that is pre-verified, both controller and PHY working together, that is pre-verified. And the same controller and IP can uh, be configured as an endpoint and a root port. As you can see here, it is configured as a root endpoint. Here it is configured as an endpoint. So this controller support uh, maximum by eight bandwidth in this uh, configuration. And it also support the full LTSSM state uh, ranging from Gen 1 to Gen 6. And it also support all the shared flow control, and uh, it also has uh, inbuilt the, the PCI to Axi bridge. And this also includes a dot uh, for a CXL part where it supports dot mem and uh, dot cache uh, uh, path. So our IP also support uh, the encrypt recent ID ECN, which uh, support encryption decryption and uh, the TDS. And we are also uh, also have a configuration to support the DMA. Thanks for watching and for more information uh, visit cadence.com.